good to be saved tonight. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord for what we feel. You guys, you guys have this problem. It seems like when you have revival, things just keep going wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've had a car break down. Um, the dryer broke. That's why I don't have time on the night. Didn't have no clothes clean to match any of my ties. <laughs> my wife and daughter have been sick. My son came home from work today and went straight to bed. He's sick. But God's still good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, the devil might jump on that. But Jim, he'd like to drive you down. Amen. Look how bad you got. This is wrong. That's wrong. This is sick, that is sick. But that does not change the fact that our God is still sitting on His throne. Amen. He still loves us. And, uh, because He loves us, we love Him. Amen. And we've still got that relationship between us. Thank God. And that's the good part, Brother Tim. These things can go wrong. All this can happen. And we've got somebody to take it to. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. It's a lot better than when I was lost. Things went wrong then, Brother Ben. I just had to face it myself. Yes. Didn't have nobody to help. But now I take it to the one that's in charge. Amen. Thankful. Good to be saved tonight. Appreciate the services we've been having, Lord. Been blessing real good. He's so faithful. We can trust him. We're going to be in the 19th chapter of the book of Acts tonight. Acts chapter number 19. You just pray for us that we can get right where God could use us. Kind of a different message tonight. Uh, maybe if we want to look at it that way, kind of, a, kind of a different message, but you just pray that the Lord bless. I know He's able, amen. He's the only one that can bless. He's the only one that can bless. Acts chapter number 19. I'm going to read verses 11 through 16. You pray for us. <clears throat> Acts 19 11. God brought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. I might just note right there, those were special miracles by the hands of Paul. Amen. I'm not going to depth, but that's what the Bible said. Those were special miracles by the hands of Paul. Amen. We're not getting that tonight. Just want to just see that. Verse number 13 said, Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you, by Jesus whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven sons of, of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for all your blessings, Lord, dear God. Thank you, Lord, for this week thus far, for all those that have supported, Lord, the churches that have been so faithful. Thank you, Lord, for the Eastside Church, Lord, this uh, pastor that we love so much. Lord, pray that you bless him and his wife, dear God, and his family. Lord, bless this church. Lord, help us all, Lord, that we can grow closer to you, dear God, tonight. Lord, we thank you for everything. Pray that you're blessed now as we get into this message. Lord, would you use us again? Lord, we don't feel worthy. Lord, we feel like a failure. But God, I know that you are able, dear God, tonight. Lord, just help us to step out of the way that you may uh, deliver the message the way you see fit. Father, we give you the praise for everything in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Now I've said it just about every night. I'm going to say it again tonight. If you're here lost, you don't have to stay that way. Amen. 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 You, can, you can get saved this evening if, if you want to. Yeah. My old pastor up in Mansfield, Brother Virgil Masters, uh, he always would 
Sometimes it'd be right in the middle of his message. He'd stop. He'd look at the congregation. He said, you know why I got saved the night I got saved? He said, because I wanted to. Amen. 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 And when God's calling, and you want to, you get saved. Amen. Thank God. Thank God now if you don't want to. He's not uh, going to force his way in. He uh, is not going to kick the door down. He's going to knock. But you have it open. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. You can be saved tonight. That's good news for the gospel. Amen. You can be saved if you want to tonight. Amen. Now we look at these scriptures and you pray just for a little while. I'll try my best not to preach real long, but I feel good already. Uh, we see here that uh, God had blessed Paul and uh, had uh, made him able to uh, do all these miracles and see so many things happen. Uh, he preached revivals. He uh, set up churches and uh, folks would come to him and he'd be healed. And, and he got to where there were so many that were sick and had evil spirits that they were taking handkerchiefs and aprons from Paul to those that were sick and they were healed. And the evil spirits were cast out of them. Amen. That's what the Bible said. Uh, but then it came to pass, Brother John, that there was some, uh, the Bible calls them back on Jews, that decided that they were going to do the same thing. Amen. Now, they didn't get called to God to do that. They decided within themselves, but Jim, uh, that they were going to be just like Paul. They were going to be, uh, they were going to be exorcists. Amen. They, uh, they were going to go and they were going to speak the name of Jesus. And they were going to see evil spirits leave just like Paul did. Amen. Uh, have a prayer. I thank God if God don't call you to do it, then you better not be doing it. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. I'm afraid I'm an awful lot of preachers out there. I'm rather being behind an awful lot of pulpits. That God's not calling them to do it. Amen. And they just thought it'd be cool to do it. Amen. And they thought, man, that'd be awesome to be a preacher. And maybe they decided, well, I'll be a preacher because I'll get rich. Amen. And well, they must not go to the church. Oh, thank God, I tell you who I was. I 
had the question, this question with him ready uh, to teach it at church. I said, honey, who are you? And she said, well, I'm your wife. Amen. And she said, I'm the kid's mom. She said, I'm uh, the, the, the pastor's wife at church. I said, honey, who are you? Amen. Thank God. Now, there's a lot of things, Brother Jim, that we are. Amen. Just because that's the position we hold. Amen. Now, I don't know what I, I don't want to know what position you hold tonight. I preached that the other night. David had a position, but he was still a leper. Amen. Now, friend, I, I want to ask you, who are you? Beyond the position. Now, beyond how you look. Amen. Now, a lot of folks think that it's all wrapped up in our good looks. Amen. Now, how we dress, how we present ourselves. Oh, thank God for Brother Forrest. Now, there's a whole lot of people presenting themselves as Christians that ain't never been born again. Amen. You are one of them. Your speech betrayeth you. Yeah. 
Thou said cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Said I am not. Yeah. Oh, but then what happened next, Brother Frank? I had to break his heart. Yeah. Oh, the Bible said in the book of Luke, chapter number 22, that as soon as he denied that third time, Brother Jesse, Jesus looked at him. Hey! Jesus, I'm going to kiss him. And Jesus said, Judas, betray me. Of me with a 
are you tonight? Who are you? Hey, man, the shadow. Now I want you to see this picture. You've got Judas, who traveled with the disciples, who didn't have the right heart. Amen. You had Simon Peter, who was one of the disciples, had a right heart, yeah. but made a wrong decision. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I'm telling you, folks, there is a difference between those two men. Yeah. Amen. But before it was over with, we know what happened in the garden. But see, before it was over with, all of them forsook him and fled. Amen. Every one of them forsook him. But Peter denied him. And Judas betrayed him. Now, who are you? Amen. Are you one that will run? Oh, when the heat comes down. Are you one that will deny that you even knew his name? Are you one that will smile when you're in church? But not really live for him?
prayed for you. <coughs> Simon Peter, we all know his character. He stepped up. I can see him sticking his chest out. Saying, Lord, I'll die for you. Yeah. And you know what Jesus did? <laughs> Jesus let the cat out of the bag. He said, this night, you'll deny me three times before the cock crows. Amen. He knew Peter was going to mess up. He knew he was. Amen. Did that change his love for him? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Didn't change his love for him one bit. Glory be to God. But then he knew that before that night was over, he was going to deny him three times. But Jesus still spoke to his father on Peter's behalf. Amen. Bless God. Somebody said, well, Brother Randy, I wouldn't get saved, but I can't live it. I'm here not to tell you, Jesus knows you can't live it. Amen. And he knows you're going to mess up from time to time. He knows there's going to be mistakes. He knows there's Bless God. Who are 
Amen. Who are you? Amen. Yeah. Well, a lot of people see me and they say, well, that's Brother Randy. <clears throat> he pastors over in line now. <clears throat> Some folks say, that's Brother Randy. He can't stay at one church for more than five years. <laughs> God moves you, you gotta move, amen. amen. Some people say it's Randy who works at Honda. Some people say it's Randy, that's Kathy's husband. That's Mary and Glenn's son. Amen. But none of those opinions really matter. Because when Jesus sees me, Amen. He knows who I am. Amen. Amen. And when God sees me, He sees the blood of His precious Son. Thank God. I'm not nothing great. I'm Brother Danny, I'm a failure. I'm just a man in myself. I deserve hell. I should be in hell right now. Chained up forever. But thank God. Thank you. 